video, we are going to look into correlation analysis, its concept, its interpretation, and how to report correlation analysis. Now, what is correlation? Correlation is a measure of relationship between two variables. It has wide application in business and statistics. Now, what would you do when you have two variables that are needed to be studied together? How would you use SPSS to identify relationship, association, link, or bonding of two variables at one time? The analysis of relationship between two variables is termed as correlation analysis. Correlation analysis is used to describe the strength and direction of the linear relationship between two variables. The following are few scenarios in which we could go for correlation analysis. University would like to know if social responsibility is associated with university reputation in the community. A marketing manager would like to know if a hike in prices has anything to do with decrease in product sales. Another example could be a HR manager would like to know if an increase in employee pay would result in lower absenteeism. Or a social science researcher would like to know if increase in age results in decrease of conflicts at work or home. Now there are a number of different statistics available from SPSS depending on the level of measurement and the nature of your data. It could be Pearson product moment correlation coefficient or Pearson correlation. When you have got a variable on interval or ratio scale, continuous variable or when the variable is on ordinal scale or the variables are on ordinal scale. So you go for Spearman correlation. The interpretation of both is the same. So what is Pearson correlation? Pearson the correlation uh, designated by R is, des is designed for interval ratio level continuous variables. It can also be used if you have one continuous variable employee commitment and one dichotomous variable maybe type of organization. The correlation is expressed in terms of a coefficient which is symbolized as R. A correlation coefficient is normally reported as a decimal number which is somewhere between plus one or and minus one. Now a correlation could either be positive, it could be negative or it could be a zero. Now the positive and negative signs indicate positive and negative correlation respectively. Positive sign shows that with increase of one variable, the other increases as well. While negative correlation indicates that with increase in one variable, the other decreases. However, the value itself provides an indication of strength of relationship. So your correlation coefficient symbolized as R is actually a measure of strength of relationship. A perfect correlation of one or minus one indicates that the value of one variable can be determined exactly by knowing the value of the other variable. On the other hand, a correlation of zero indicates no relationship between two variables. Knowing the value of one of the variables provides no assistance in predicting the value of the other variable. Now, how do you interpret the correlation coefficient? Now, merely computation of correlation does not have any significance. It is important that we know what is meant by the coefficient, what it tells us about the data. To have an answer, generally, the coefficient of correlation is interpreted in verbal description. Correlation coefficient can easily be interpreted using the following table. Now, if your correlation coefficient is 1, this means that there is a perfect positive or negative correlation. If it's between 0 0.90 to 0.99 with plus or minus sign, it would mean very high positive or negative correlation. Now, for instance, if it's 0.10 to 0 0.30, it would mean very low positive or negative correlation. So these are or this R value would tell you about the strength of relationship between the two variables. In order to judge the significance, you would need the P value. Now, it is very important to note that the correlation does not provide any information about cause and effect. 
so you should not establish causation be just because of correlation analysis for that you should run other tests the correlation does not speak of the influence of one variable on the other it is important that you remember that correlation is not equal to causation we we'll look into correlation matrix later but now let's run a correlation analysis here we have a data set now we have got a variable servant leadership which is measured using seven items there is another variable self efficacy measured using eight items and there are other variables as well now i am interested in relationship between servant leadership and self efficacy but i do not have a single measure of servant leadership now the first step should be to transform this into a single variable a latent variable score now how do we we do that we just go to transform we go to compute variable and then we are creating a new variable from existing variables so let's name it as sl now what's our numeric expression now we are going to take the average the mean so what we do is we write mean parenthetical bracket and then we double click here on the variables so sl1 separated by a comma sl2 comma sl3 comma so on and so forth unless or until you get all the variables in the equation or the expression so now i've got all the variables parenthetical bracket closed and you press okay and what you see here is you've got a new variable in the variable now similarly you can go on and create a variable for se and same let's remove all these and add se here se1 comma se2 comma so on and so forth till you get all variables in now all the variables are in so we press okay now now to to run the correlation analysis what you do is you go to analyze okay i've done okay now you go to analyze you go to correlate and then you select bivariate correlation now what are the two variables we are interested in we are interested in servant leadership and self efficacy now this is a pearson correlation so we said it's already selected we want a two tail test we don't know the, about the direction of relationship but if you know the direction of relationship you can use one tail in this case let's use two tail and we want to flag the significant correlation marked by asterisk and what we do is we just press okay and here are our results now if we see we see a number of different statistics servant leadership and servant leadership they've got the absolute correlation obviously because both are the same and the values are same what we are interested in is this the relationship of servant leadership with self efficacy the pearson correlation value is 0.534 now is this relationship significant yes it is significant because the value is less than 0.05 it is even less than 0.001 now what's the n the sample size is 221 now if we see down there is another row and it is similar to the top row so there is repetition below or top of the diagonal so we just keep one row here so we do not need to report the whole table we will format the table now if we look go back to the table and look at this so it's somewhere moderate positive or negative relation in in this case it is positive because there is no negative sign in here so this is a positive relationship so there a higher level of servant leadership would mean a higher self efficacy in the employees now how do you report the results so i've created this template the problem is we have to investigate the relationship between servant leadership and self efficacy now what's the hypothesis there is a significant relationship between servant leadership and self efficacy now how do we report it so pearson product correlation of servant leadership and self efficacy was found to be so 
statistically significant. So we remove this insignificant word here. We write the R value. And what's the R value? The R value is 0 0.534. 0 0.534. And the P value is it's less than 0 0.001. And was found to be moderately positive and statistically significant. And we can add a line here which shows that it means H1, let's name it H1, was supported. You can always add a line. This shows that an increase servant leadership behavior would lead to a higher self-efficacy in the followers. So this is how we can interpret the correlation analysis. Now there might be a time or situation where you, do, you want more than two correlations or more than two variables analyzed. So in that case, you run or you actually go for a correlation matrix. In this case, we've got a third variable as well. Let's transform this as well. Let's name it JS. And what we can do is, let's do it quickly. JS1, JS2, JS3, JS4, and JS5. Do not need these. And we press OK. And what we do is analyze, correlate, bivariate, and we are interested in another relationship. Just add it, press OK. Now here we see this is a correlation matrix with more than two variables. Now if you see this SL correlated with the rest of them, SE correlated with the rest of them. And the values below the diagonal are repeated at the top of the diagonal just above the one so what we can do to format is just copy this bring it in your ms word document now you can remove this top value let's uh, put this here and remove this bottom row you can obviously go to all borders okay so we do not need these values Obviously, or let's keep these and remove from the top. Okay, now this is done. Okay, now we do not see this table as is in our research papers. So, what we need to do is we can obviously remove the extra rows or columns. So, let's put this here create rows so that you can remove the extra rows. And this and this. So, we do not need this, this is removed, we do not need this, this is removed, we do not need this, and this is removed. And actually we do not need this as well. So, let's format this slightly, and that's it. And once we see these research papers or thesis, we see a correlation matrix like this. So obviously you can just format it furthermore obviously as per the requirement of the journal you can name it table or add a description table on correlation analysis. So this is how you report a correlation matrix when you've got more than two variables. The interpretation would remain the same. You can separately interpret each of the relationship interpreting SL with SE, interpreting SL with JS, interpreting SC and JS uh, similar to this description. I hope this video would have helped you understand the concept of Pearson correlation. Thank you very much.